Hello, oh, how you guys doing out there today? This is your boy Roto Beast, and I'm here to present you my NBA picks for Tuesday, March 6th. If you're new to this channel, please make sure and click the subscribe button below. This so you can watch all of our NBA, MLB, and NFL videos. And if you want to play the actual lineups that we're playing every single night, visit our website at www.rotobeast.net. So, hey, NBA is really, really crazy right now. It's been like that since the All Star since the All Star break. You got teams. Who, you know, they're trying to tank purposely. You got players that know it's towards the end of the season, so they're not even caring as much if their team is not in the playoff hunt. You got all this late news coming out after lock. Things are really, really frustrating in DFS NBA right now. But, hey... All you can do is stick to your process, don't give up on it, and just do your best. Maybe you start cutting back a little bit on how much you play nightly, start looking forward to MLB. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the best advice that I could give. I mean, things are crazy. It's not just for us, it's for everybody. Everybody's going through the same situation, and things are rough. But hey, got to just keep our head up and keep moving forward. Um, we got a nice little eight game slate on this Tuesday. Um, you know, before I go, uh, jump into the slate, hey, I'm gonna run my contest back. All I need to get is 150 likes. Like the but, um, hit, click the like button below. Make sure that you're subscribed. Drop your name in the comment section. One lucky winner will get picked tomorrow, um, 30 minutes before lock of main slate. Um, to get our actual lineups for Fanduel and DraftKings tomorrow, absolutely free. So make sure to like the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Drop your name below, and that's all. And you and you you're entered. So let's jump into these games real quick. Um, we'll start with New Orleans at Clippers. This game has the highest implied total on the slate. 237 implied total. The Clippers are favored by three. Then you got Brooklyn going into Golden State to face the Warriors. This game has a 230 implied total. Golden State's favored by 14. Then you got Houston going into OKC. This game has a 222.5 implied total. And Houston's favored by 4.5. Next you got Denver going into Dallas to face the Mavericks. This game has a 219.5 implied total. Denver's favored by 4.5. Half. You got Atlanta going into Toronto to face the Raptors. This game has a 218 and a half implied total. Toronto's favored by 13. Next, we got Philadelphia going into Charlotte to, um, to face the Hornets. This game has a 215 implied total, and Philadelphia is favored by one and a half. Next, we got New York. Going into Portland to face the Blazers. This game has a 215 implied total. Portland's favored by 10. And lastly, we got Miami going into Washington. Um, this game has a 203 and a half implied total. And Washington's favored by 5. So that's kind of where we're at with the games. Let's jump into these picks. Oh, here we go with the lagging internet again. My bad. But yeah. Any day now. Okay, so we'll start at point guard. Um, you know, there's some point guards I really like. You got to like Westbrook going against the Rockets. It's not the best matchup against Chris Paul, but Westbrook is an elite player in this league. For him to hit value, you're going to need about 57. It is a high high price tag. He's averaging 53.5 on the season. Um, but this game, I expect to stay close. I definitely think that Westbrook can have a monster game. Um, then you got Curry. I'm not really going to look at him. He's more of a GPP play just because the price is up. For him to hit value, you need about 48. He's averaging 44 on the season. I definitely think that the Warriors beat the brakes off um, the Nets and that they, the starters don't play play the fourth quarter then you got Lillard he's going to be on a back-to-back -back, but he's going against the Knicks a very very good matchup the price tag is up for him to hit value we're going to need about 48 he's averaging 43 on the season um, a guy I'm really liking is Kimba at home we like Kimba at home going against Philadelphia um, you know 8,000 you need 40 for him to hit value he's averaging 38 on the season Kimba, for the most part, I mean, he's playing well right now. You know, and like I said, we love targeting him at home. So I think he's one of the, the really, really good plays on the slate. Then you got Chris Paul going against OKC, going against Westbrook. The price tag is very down right there. All you need is 40 for him to hit value. He's averaging 44 on the season. Um, I think that Chris Paul's in a really good spot right here. Next, we got Drogic. Um, going against Washington, up tempo game. They're on a back to back. For him to hit value, you're gonna need about 34. He's averaging 30 on the season, and then you also got Dennis Smith. Very, very good matchup against Denver. Denver struggles against the point guard position. For him to hit value. We're going to need about 33. He's averaging 28 on the season. He's been playing very well right now. So I love me, Dennis Smith. Then you got Harden. We'll go to shooting guard. You got Harden going against um, OKC. I mean, they're going to need a big game from him. This game is going to be close, in my opinion. For him to hit value, we're going to need about 57. He's averaging 54 on the season. 
Next, we got Drew Holiday going against the Clippers. This game has the highest supply total by far on this slate. It's going to be very, very up-tempo, back and forth. Holiday's price tag is up. For him to hit value, you need about 42. He's averaging 37 on the season, uh, but he, I think he's a really, really good play. Then you got Batum going against Philadelphia. Batum's playing very well right now. I mean, he's got you 45, 42, 37, 43, 34 in the last six, uh, five games. For him to hit value at this price tag, we need about 36. I definitely think he can get there. Um, then we got uh, Gary Harris going against Dallas. Uh, I mean, he's just a guy who plays tons of minutes. For him to hit value, you need 36. He's averaging 30 on the season. Um, and like I said, I mean, he's been playing very well. He's got you at least 33 and four of the past five. Um, lastly, we got Clay. Strictly a GPP for me, but Clay's one of those guys we know he can go out for 35 actual scoring points in one quarter. Going against Brooklyn, the price tag is fair. For him to hit value, you need about 32. He's averaging 30 on the season, so definitely more of a GPP play, but I think Clay's a solid play. Small forward, I mean, you got Kevin Durant going against Brooklyn. The price tag's up. So, GPP for me as well. You need 51 for him to hit value. He's averaging 47 on the season. Then you got Paul George at a very fair price tag going against um, the Rockets in this up-tempo game. I mean, this game is going to be a really, really good game. You're definitely going to want to get some kind of pieces from this game. 8,600 um, price tag. So for him to hit value, we're going to need about 43. He's averaging 39 on the season. Um, I definitely think that Paul, uh, yeah, Paul George is in a great spot. Then you got Porter going against Miami. Miami's going to be on a back-to-back. Um, Porter, I mean, without John Wall, he's been playing very well. For him to hit value, we're going to need about 37. He's averaging 31 on the season. Then we'll look at a guy like Barnes. His, his price tag is down right now. For him to hit value against Denver, you, you needed about 31. He's averaging 30 on the season. Um, I think very fair price tag. I definitely think you could look at him in your cash games. Lastly, we're going to look at a guy like Trevor Reason. He's just too cheap. For him to have value, you need 26. He's averaging 24 on the season. Close game against OKC. He's going to play tons of minutes. You know, we know that for sure. Um, you know, he, he doesn't do nothing special, but he does a little bit of everything, which you really got to like. Um, so I think uh, Trevor Reason is a great buy. Power forward, I mean, you got Anthony Davis going against the Clippers and the um, most highest projected total on the slate. Um, I mean, he hasn't had those 96 points in two games, but hey, he can have it any single game. Very, very um, high uh, ceiling. Um, we know that for sure. He's playing the minutes. He's doing, you know, he's putting the team on his back right now. For him to hit value, we need about 62. It's a high price tag. Don't get me wrong. Um, but he can definitely pay it off in this matchup against the Clippers. Then we got Draymond going against Brooklyn. For him to hit value, we need 40, averaging 37 on a season. I'm definitely a little nervous with the Warriors starters just because I think their minutes are going to get buzzed off. But, I mean, it is a great matchup, and they're going to have to score to actually make the game blow out. Then you got Tobias. Fuck, Tobias, his price tag's up, but he just keeps balling. For him to hit value, you're going to need about 30. 9, 40, he's averaging 31 on the season. If he's going to be guarded by Miracic, I mean, Miracic, come on, man. Dude is a good offensive player, not a good defensive player. Tobias Harris will definitely have a field day. Then you got Paul Millsap. I mean, I know his minutes are still, you know, he's going to only play 26, 27 minutes. But this is a guy, when he's, you know, regular, going to play 34 minutes, he's about 8,000. So he's, he's still too cheap. I mean, you need 30 for him to hit value. Coming back from injury, I mean, he's he's got you. He's averaging 32 on the season. He's got you a 26, a 38, and a 29 in limited minutes. We need 30 for value pretty much. So I definitely really like him again in this spot. You got Carmelo. He sat out last game for rest. He's going to come back against the Rockets. Should be well rested. I definitely think he can have a solid game. They're going to need him if they want um, to have any chance against the Rockets. Um, for, I mean, the price tag is fair. You need 30 for value. He's averaging 28 on the season. Then we can look at a guy. I mean, he's just cheap starts. Uh, Marvin Williams is playing about 22, 23 minutes a game. At a 3,600 price tag, we need about about 17. He's averaging 19 on the season. So I definitely think he's a solid, cheaper, uh, lower end play. Um, and Bede, I just don't like the price tag going against Howard. Jokic, he's been really struggling since Paul Millsap has come back. Um, but he definitely has upside against Dallas. GPP play. 
Then you got Jordan going against um, the Pelicans. I mean, I really like um, DeAndre Jordan in this spot. I definitely think he can have a good game. They're going to need him on the floor to kind of help out with AD. For him to hit value, you need about 40. I mean, he's got you 44 and 50. Um, for in the past two, uh, maybe a little bit more of a GPP play, but a solid play either way. Then you got Capella, um, 7,500. For him to value, you need 37. He's averaging 35 on the season. Up, um, This is going to be a you know back and forth game. They're going to need him to guard Adams. I definitely like him in this spot. Whiteside, um, he's going to be on a back-to-back, -back, but the guy's playing very well. I mean, he's picking it up finally. He went through a kind of a rush stretch. For him to hit value, you need about 36. Very fair price tag. Averaging 36 on a season. I mean, he just went off tonight. Scored, I think, close to 60 fantasy points. Um, so I think Whiteside's a solid play. You got Adams is very consistent. You need 35 for him to hit value. Up tempo game against Houston. Uh, averaging 31 on the season, almost 32 fantasy points. So I'm liking Adams. Nurchich, he's going to be on the second end of a back-to-back. -back. He is up and down, so probably a little bit more of a GPP play, but very fair price tag. Has 50 fantasy point upside, especially going against New York and Cantor. Um, and then lastly, GPP only, but you got Noel. I mean, the minutes, he's starting to get a little bit extra minutes. 15, 15, and 17 since coming back from injury. At 3,900 price tag, we need about 19 for value. He's got 12, 18, and 16. If he's going to get bumped up to, say, 22, 23 minutes, I mean, this guy can def absolutely crush this price tag. So I definitely would pay attention to news. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with these picks. Before I jump into court plays, and hey, make sure if you haven't already, click that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Drop your name below. This way you can be entered into our contest. And, yeah, so let's jump into it. Um, I mean, this is tough for me, honestly. I like Chris Paul. I mean, he's just too cheap. I mean, that, that's my thing with Chris Paul. Um, I think he's a very, very fair price tag. Um, then we're going to go to shooting guard. Um, shooting guard, huh? We're going to go with... And I like Batum. Up tempo game at home. Great spot for him. Small forward. I mean, like I said, we're gonna really want um some people from this game. Um I'm gonna go with Paul George. Very fair price tag. Power forward. Um we're gonna look at mm, Oh man. We're gonna have to go with somebody like Let me see. Sorry. I didn't look at who I really was gonna um go with. I mean I like I mean, I like Millsap. I just think the price tag is very fair. Even, I mean, as long as he's starting, I think he's going to be a great play. Adams, um, Whiteside, Cantor. I'm going to go with Adam for consistency. You got about 5,700 left over. So, yeah, hey, this is something I think is a really, really solid start. There's somebody that comes out in the news, you know, a, a value player. Somebody is out, so this guy is a must-star. I'll definitely put that in the comment section below, so make sure you have those notifications turned on. And, um, yeah, hey, let's get this money tomorrow, and I'll talk to you later.